Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I want to show you a full speed power play sequence that I like to use to work on my team's power play setups. So let's go ahead. The drill itself is really simple, so let's pull up the rink. I'll show you what we've got going on. Um, but like I said, it's simple, but there are a lot of different ways you can use this. So uh, it works regardless of whichever power play setup you're using. So you know, make, make sure you take a look at the coach's training course on the power play setups. Um, if you need more ideas on which power play types to use or, you know, different positional um, strategies and stuff like that. We'll put a link to the description for, the, for those videos. But anyways, here's what we've got for the setup. As you can see, we've got our three forwards down low and our two defensemen on the blue lines. And uh, basically what we've got is we've set up some cones in basic positionings where, you know, where defenders might be if, you know, if they're killing a penalty against your team. So depending on whichever set power play setup you want to use, in this case, we've got an overload that we've got set up. Um, I, if you watch the uh, the coach's training course, my, one of my favorite power play setups is the overload that shifts into an umbrella. So that's what I'm going to show you on this and how this will work. But uh, like I said, we've got the cones there, and those are just basically to simulate where players might be so that it's more visual. You can be able to see where the passing lanes are in a game situation. So obviously, this is just to get the players used to doing quick, um, reactive passes get them nailed down on what patterns you're going to be looking for, you know, what, what different um, attack options you're going to be using for on the power play. And then as the players get better at this, obviously you'll start swapping out the cones for players. So here's what the drill looks like though. So basically you've got your setup and um, you know, for this particular power play, basically what we're doing is we're going uh, passes back and forth between these two forwards until in a game situation, we wait for this player to bite. So as he bites, then what we do is, um, you know, let's say the puck is here. So the player bites. Um, this forward takes two steps towards the middle and then passes it back down and then he'll drive through. Now, as you can see, the cones are set up to mimic that open lane through the seam. So this forward drives through the lane, through the seam. And in our power play setup, we've got a few options from here. We can either do a give and go from the corner, which works really well, um, especially if this player tries to get the puck instead of staying with the man driving through the seam. Um, or you can go uh, a pass back to the point. Usually I like a bank pass there. And then I'm just going to highlight both of these guys. Then what we do in this setup is as, as soon as that puck gets back to the point, now the point man starts walking across the blue line. And this defenseman drops down. The forward who made the pass slots back up. Okay, and now you've got your umbrella set up. And usually what will happen is this forward will pop out. And this forward who drove through the seam goes to the post. So basically, we've got two guys at each post and then the umbrella set up across the top. Now, as you can see, the cones are still mimicking good passing and shooting lanes. So as this forward or as this defenseman comes across, he's got a few options. He can shoot, and he's got to you know time his shot so he's shooting through the cones, through the middle of the cones. Uh, he's got the passing option to the defenseman for a shot or for a touch pass across the ice for a one timer there. So pass across to the forward that drove to the far post and one time shot, or it can come back. Now, as you can see, he's got to time that so that he comes out and uh, basically what happens is, you know, this forward's got to give himself a passing option. So he needs to come out far enough that he's not going to be, um, you know, that the cone's not going to be in his way. So slide back and then you got the same two options. You either got the shot or you've got the, um, you know, pass across the forward. So anyways, you've got the cone set up to mimic where those passing lanes are give the players visual cues of where those passing lanes are. But basically this is a five on O with some cones set up just for, you know, um, just for token, token resistance, just something they get in the way. But, you know, basically just a visual uh, cue of where those passing lanes are. So again, this is a great drill. I really like this. I like to go through this, you know, work through it in a sequence though. So start with no pressure, then throw some cones in, eventually work up to where you're doing, you know, a full blown five on four. And, um, you know, working through your power play in that sequence helps your players to memorize the, you know, the sequence of options, which options are their best options, and, you know, work through those options in sequence. And, um, you know, gives them some, you know, some visual cues on where those passing lanes are. Um, you can pick up the PDF printout, the drill draw, and hockey share import files for this drill if you visit us at weisstechhockey.com. So make sure you click that link in the description. You'll be taken right there. You can use this drill in your practices.